key and peel have forever ruined the way I see and say the name A.A. Ron. The Netflix documentary true crime series Killer Inside, The Mind of Aaron Hernandez, takes a look at the famed NFL player and convicted murderer. It's a really interesting dive into his life, examining his childhood and then also his prowess as a football player. Now, I don't watch sports and so I wasn't really familiar with him at all, other than I had heard that he was accused of murder. But even then, I didn't know the outcome of that. For me, this documentary gave a lot of insight into Aaron's life, but also a lot of speculation into what the root causes of his behavior could be. While this was interesting, one of the things that was really unsettling to me is some of the information that was divulged by family or friends or interviewees during this. And I don't believe that Aaron Hernandez ever confirmed any of the stuff that they were talking about. And as circumstances are now, he's not in a position to confirm or deny or even defend the things that are being said about him. I just don't think that's a classy thing to do, that you just don't talk about things when somebody can't just defend themselves or explain it or anything else. It just, mm, I don't know. That rubbed me a little bit wrong there. Now, maybe it is true. I don't know. But again, Hernandez is not in a position to say one way or the other. I know that's being a bit vague, but I also don't want to spoil it if you don't know anything about this story and you do want to watch the documentary. There's also a science portion to this true crime documentary, and it's intriguing, but at the same time, it also felt like maybe it was trying to excuse or explain away some of the behaviors, or even shift the liability off of Aaron for his actions. Now, I'm not saying that that's what the documentarians were trying to do, but I can definitely see how that could be framed that way because the way that the information is presented, it's saying, well, he did this or is accused of doing this, and then this was happening in his life or to him or however you want to do it, whether it's background or through science, and so that can explain this, and therefore maybe he's not culpable for actions that he was convicted of. Uh, see, I don't, I don't know. I, now, I don't think that they were actively trying to do that, but it can definitely be spun that way. I like that in this to build the better story, just to give it a more well-rounded, are a lot of interviews from friends, from relatives, from neighbors, even cellmates. And then you also have court audio and phone calls that are played in. And it just, it, it provides a better picture, at least for the narrative that the documentary is telling. The good thing about this documentary is that you don't have to be a sports fan to get enjoyment out of it, to find it interesting or intriguing, and to just pull some bits and pieces out of it, especially if you're a true crime fan. However, it's not the best true crime documentary on Netflix or even out there at all. So there are better things to watch if you're looking for something that will just really, really suck you in. But if you're a Hernandez fan, if you watched him as he played football, if you followed his career, anything like that, then you probably will get a great enjoyment out of this and, and find it very intriguing. And all that to say, it's not a bad watch. It just didn't glue me to my seat like some of the other documentaries have. There might be some brief nudity. There's no sex, but there is sexual dialogue, a lot of profanity, and some violent imagery and descriptions of violence. I give Killer Inside, Mind of Aaron Hernandez, three out of five couches. Are there any good true crime documentaries that you can recommend to me that maybe I haven't seen? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.